Hello everyone, this is Mohammed. In this session, we will discuss about how to create database. When we create a new database in Sybase, we must have a space available on device. In the previous session, we have discussed about how to create database devices, how to drop it and where the devices are stored. Devices can be stored in file system or it could be in a row partition, row device. So when we create a database, all the system table stored in the model database will be copied to the new database. So model database is a template. When you create a new database, everything stored in the model will be copied for the new database. So suppose we have created a new database on de database device. The entry will be database information will be stored in the system table like sys databases and sys usages. These system table is stored in the master database. So practically I will tell you how to create database and how the system tables are affected. So you can see this picture. You have created a new database. Everything reside in the model database will be copied. And the information of the new database will be stored in the master. See, SP help DB to check the information of database. So these are the databases. So let's create one database, create database, test DB. The database is created with the size of 3 MB because the 3 MB size is of model database. So everything is in the model database will be copied in test DB2. So let's check select star Oh, stop. So you can see the information sys databases sp so you can see this database the size created on and device fragments this database is created on master device. Cyrus doesn't recommend to create anything on master device because the master device is most critical. Master data is most critical database. So Cyrus recommend when you create a new database, you must have a space available on new device. Means create this database on the separate device. what we will do we will check the space we will check the space available on device so you can see this device having 100 mb space available so you can create a database on this device so let's drop the database sp drop db
database is dropped successfully. Now you can create a database on this device. With 10 MB space. You can see SPFDB, SDB2 device is created. Okay, database is created on this device. Suppose that uh, device is getting filled up, you need to increase the space of database. So what do you will do? You will check the space available on the current device. If the size, if the space is not available on device, you can create another device and alter the space on that device. So we will check the space. You can see 90 MB space available. Test alter database. Test DB2 on. this device now the 20 mb space is available 20 mb space added to the database now you can see the device fragment okay now cyber cyber recommends cyber recommend when you create a database Keep the log in separate device because Cybers is a right hand log. When you perform, when you correct the database or performing a recovery, so transaction log is most important. Without transaction log, you cannot recover the database. You cannot perform the point in time recovery. To perform, to perform the recovery, we must have the transaction log. So, Sybase recommend to keep the log in separate device. So, for that, what we can do, we can create a log device. Log device is created. We now and we can alter the database in that device. Right. Now you can see we have three device test dev one, test dev one, and log device. <clears throat> okay. But now you can see that is still the data and log on the same device. So what we can do. We, we can separate the log from these devices. So we can place the log, transaction log, in separate device. This is the command to separate the log, database name and log device. So what he is saying, what it is saying, to run this command, you need to you must set database in single user mode. So let's bring the database in single user mode. Now you can see the information as PLTB test TB2. So now you can see uh, status 
database is in single user mode. This Now the transition mode is separating. Okay, now you can see the information. So now you can see the data and log in separate devices. Okay, I hope you like this video. Please subscribe for more session. Thank you.